Hey Virgos, let me make sure the camera, okay, we're good. Alright, right. definitely watch, this is going to be a quick mini love reading for you guys from now until the 30th before the big um, full moon and eclipse hits. I'm going to do something, test something out for you guys, um, but it's going to be a quick mini love reading. Um, welcome if you're new, definitely watch if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus is in Virgo. Um, I do have January, the beginning of January, first half videos for Virgo, and end of the month, um, videos for Virgo, for love, um, those are posted if you want to check those out, if this doesn't resonate with you, um, so this is just going to be quick, quick, short and sweet for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising from now until January 30th, and love. Three guys. Hold on. All right, let's see what's going on. Where go? All right. So, overall energy, damn, guys. Alright, so, this could be you guys, Queen of Pentacles, male or female. This is really good. Wow, feeling secure, feeling good. Alright, if you're dealing with another earth sign, boom, looks good. Alright, let's look behind that. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Cups reversed behind that. Somebody may be a little bit stressed out. Carrying a lot of burdens, um, maybe working a lot, or just carrying a lot of stress. And then we do have the Ten of Cups reverse behind it. So there is a sense of a happy home, um, emotional fulfillment, but something missing here, you know. So we'll figure out what it is. So current energy for Virgos. Okay, Six of Pentacles reversed. So there's not an equal, there's not a sense of an equal give and take right now between your partner or whoever you're dealing with okay and i'm gonna say someone because the energies can mix it can pick up your ex family members friends whoever so and i'll name the signs as they come out but it seriously can be any sign taking on that quality because we all do um so thoughts and concerns for virgo is the ace of swords so you may have had to cut literally cut someone off or communication truthful communication getting clarity that you want that you need or communications on your mind here we'll figure out exactly what it is why is it all happening for virgo we have the page of cups so there is a offer a love offer here um water related cancer pisces scorpio but it very well could be another sign any sign can take this on. So there is a love offer here, but there's a sense of, like, not equal give and take. There is truthful communication on your mind. So let's see. In the past for Virgo, we've got the Two of Wands. So there was a decision that you had to make in the past, all right? Recent past, because this is so short. So let's see. What's crossing Virgo? What's holding you back or influencing you negatively or positively? Ooh, we go to the Three of Wands now. So, someone is waiting. Okay, guys? Someone's waiting for someone. Okay? Or somebody is waiting on this equal balance. This equal reciprocity, give and take within a relationship here. We'll clarify. So, going into the near future, hopefully this plays out before the 30th. Maybe you've already gone through it. Maybe it, it can go past that. It all depends on your situation. So going into the near future, we do have the full reverse. So somebody, excuse me, not wanting to take a leap of faith with someone here. Could be an Aries. We'll clarify. So other current situations for Virgo. We have the High Priestess. So, you could be dealing with a Pisces, doesn't have to be, but 
this is somebody who definitely uses their intuition here. Somebody's using their intuition or, you know, so, yeah, somebody may be using their intuition. They know what's going on. Um, or, you know, somebody's holding back, keeping secrets here. All right. So, external to Virgo. Ooh, we have the Ten of Swords. So, somebody is feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back externally. We'll clarify. We'll see what that is. Um, hopes and fears for Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. Being single, guys. But you're doing damn good with your money. You could be hoping for being single or fearing being single. Or just wanting to be financially independent here. So outcome for Virgos is strength, baby. You could be dealing with a Leo in the outcome, but there's strength. But there's also this sense of, you know, somebody may be taming themselves from, you know, not not communicating maybe there's something on your mind that you want to communicate or whoever you're involved with does and there's a sense of like kind of t maybe taming that communication so let's see what the next card would be after strength okay would be the chariot so it could be to a cancer doesn't have to be but balancing balancing um what's the word like polar opposite forces <laughs> like basically taking the good and the bad together and moving ahead victoriously charging ahead victoriously this could even be travel movement for some of you guys or it's a cancer um yeah somebody done done waiting not waiting waiting and waiting and waiting on someone but given up here so let's see let's see all right so this definitely could be you guys you know feeling a little bit of you know emotional unfulfillment um or you could be dealing with another taurus virgo capricorn feeling this way sun moon or rising or leo again it could be aries it could be any other sign guys Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's see why the Two of Wands is in the recent past. So as it's Two of Wands here for Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. Shoo. Someone had to make a decision on whether or not they wanted to build on a relationship here. Uh, and it looks like someone gave up waiting and waiting and waiting. Very well could have been a Cancer. Or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I just like to throw the signs out there for you guys. But if it resonates how it resonates for you. Just you know put it together. Because it could be sun, moon or rising. We do have earth energy and fire. As well. Let's see why the three of pentacles is here. Okay so five of wands. Coming out of conflict. Coming out of inner conflict. Not wanting to fight anymore. Not wanting to battle it out. In the past. Coming out of that energy, yeah, there was definitely an ending in the past. Somebody was feeling stuck, All right? Maybe kind of losing their power, feeling stuck in a situation, and somebody ended it in the past, okay? Transformations here. I see Aries as well, Pisces, and Scorpio. So let's see. I'm not going to clarify the past too much because that's not what matters. Six of Pentacles, let's see why this is the present energy, this feeling of, you know, somebody maybe putting more work in than somebody else into a relationship. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed? That doesn't feel right. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed for Virgos from now until January? Okay. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands here. Very well could be with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Um, this person could be feeling this way or you could be feeling this way about this person, you know, not putting the work in. Somebody's definitely reflecting on the past. Definitely got your card, Virgo. You could have went into isolation, you know, thinking about the past, good memories from the past, reflecting on better times within your current relationship or positive times in relationships, um, childhood even. Children could be involved as well. Um, you definitely could be involved with another Virgo, also. 
Um, let me check this King of Wands. This King of Wands is upright, so let's see. Why is this King of Wands here for Virgos from now until January 30th? Okay, so they're carrying a lot of burdens. They're carrying a lot of weight, or you guys are. Somebody's definitely feeling stressed out, burdened, doing all the work, okay? So somebody's waiting on someone here. Wait, probably waiting on someone to do some work here. So this person, this whoever you're dealing with that's feeling like, it even could be you guys, that's feeling like, um, you know, there's not an equal give and take in the relationship. Somebody's definitely holding on to that, not letting that out. Like, not letting out, kind of like fearful to express that, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, we've definitely got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So, t it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe you guys aren't moving. Maybe you guys you feel like things are going round and round in circles um, with this person. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign. I'm also seeing, I'm seeing all elements, water as well. So, let's see. Okay, so the Three of Swords reverse wanted to fall out like this. So, when I have the Three of Pentacles here, clearly there was um, probably cheating in the past, and somebody is releasing that pain, okay? Releasing that pain, getting over it here. Healing. Um, definitely could have been, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm seeing someone from the past, okay? I'm seeing a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the past. Let's forget the past. Somebody's healing from this situation. So, yeah, 333. Three, three. Yeah, guys, damn, I'm sorry. All right, so why is the Three of Wands here crossing Virgos? Somebody could have even turned their back as well here. Why is the Three of Wands crossing Virgos? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse so definitely could be a money situation where somebody's doing more work than the other person but there could have been an offer extended that was stable long lasting and somebody is turning their back on that somebody doesn't want it ooch okay um could be a leo could be a gemini and i'm seeing scorpio so somebody's like avoiding making a decision. Not feeling optimistic about making this decision here. Somebody could literally be avoiding someone. I've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, and Leo. All right, so however it resonates with you guys. Let's check out this Page of Cups, this love offer. Why is this Page of Cups here for Virgos? Sorry if I said... Gemini, because I just did them. That's too many. Why is this page of cups here? Thank you. Five of pentacles. Reverse. So somebody offered love, and they didn't want to feel rejected. They don't want to feel rejected anymore. They want to come out of the cold here. So we've got earth and water energies. Okay. Okay, so somebody definitely could be uh, married here. There could have been some harsh communication. Very harsh communication from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius from the past, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Alright, let's see. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed? So somebody is, n like, not accepting this love offer. Somebody could have been waiting and waiting and waiting. There's definitely a love offer here, guys. Definitely could have been to or from somebody from the past, and somebody's not taking it. Somebody's done waiting on it. Done waiting. Very well, it could be a Cancer. Another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be any sign, guys. So take it how it resonates. But somebody's definitely doesn't like, doesn't, is coming out of feeling like they've been rejected here whether it be you or whoever this love offer was given to or ex given to you yeah 
Yeah, it's like somebody was waiting and waiting and waiting forever, maybe on, on love here, maybe on communicating with a water sign or an earth sign, and it just, you know, didn't happen. Didn't happen. So let's see why the fool, so obviously somebody's not taking a chance here. It could be an Aries as well. Why is the fool reversed going into the near future for Virgos from now until January 30th? We've got the Hermit reverse, guys. So it very well could be you guys, you know, not wanting to take any risks. Not wanting to step into the unknown here. Um, there may be a little bit of regret and remorse, you know, wanting to come out of conflict. There could have been conflict with someone. Um, definitely feeling that regret and remorse here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energies, Aries, and Virgo. Why is the Hermit reversed? Yeah, we've got the Three of Cups. Okay, so... Definitely someone else involved here. Or this is just... This very well could be like a reunion, wanting a reunion with somebody. But, see, somebody doesn't want an abundant new beginning here. There is passion and energy going into the future, but somebody does not want an abundant new beginning. Could be Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. Like, somebody's seeing the situation for what it is. Uh, let me check this three of... Why is this three of cups here for Virgos? Okay, the sun reversed. So this could be like a friendship, friend-wise. Somebody doesn't want to take a risk with friends. Like, I don't see it as cheating here at all anymore. Um, with the sun reversed, there may be something that's not being shown on friends. Or, you know, somebody may be... Yeah, we've got the lovers reverse, which usually indicates, you know, something coming in between a relationship, either another person or heavy arguing here. Gemini as well. This looks like somebody is avoiding making a head over heart decision here about someone, and therefore things are not completing karmically. Yeah. You guys, somebody still could be... See, we've got indecision here. Somebody very well could be juggling two different people. And the sun is like, it's not being shown, but it, it came up upright. Let's see. Why is the sun reversed with the three of cups? I don't see cheating, guys. I see second chances wanting to be granted. Either you guys want to give a second chance to someone or have passionate new energy towards someone, but it looks like someone's not going to take a risk here. Definitely could be a meddler, so watch out. Definitely could be killed kids involved, family. Maybe a reunion. With family, a party, a get-together with friends going into the near, fu near future <laughs> soon. But somebody's coming to reality and seeing things for, for what it is. Not feeling stuck and trapped in their head anymore. So let's check out this High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Virgo from now until? Thank you. Okay, definitely a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, there's definitely love being offered here to a water sign. And it may be kept hidden. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like somebody's moving on. Looks like a Cancer Pisces Scorpio is moving on here. But there is this connection. There is a connection here, but somebody has moved. Somebody has moved on. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio, boom, gone. Alright, so, wow. Okay, so you do have a fire sign as well here. Uh, specifically, it could be Sagittarius.
yeah, they may want to return. That's what I'm seeing. They may want, they may be a little bit impatient. They may be a little bit imbalanced with their emotions. Um, and they may want to reconcile. That's what I'm seeing. Ooh, okay. So let's see what the Ten of Swords is here. External to you guys. Somebody feeling backstabbed, betrayed. Remember, these energies can mix. This could be literally how you're feeling as well. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo from now until January 30th? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo? The Magician. Okay, so somebody could have literally manipulated someone. Or it's an Aries, okay? That's feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Yeah, something unfair, something unjust happened. Okay, this could be legal cases as well. This definitely could be divorces as well here. Um, within a higher level of commitment or a marriage. Definitely some harsh communication external too. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Libra and Aries. Let me check out this magician. Why is the magician here for Virgos from now until January 30th, Spirit? Okay. Receiving bad news or there's gossip going on. There very well could be a fire sign external as well. Aries Leo Sag here that um, may have many different options within love. Maybe there's a delay or block in communication right now here with them. Yikes, guys. Okay. So, Nine of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in Virgos? Okay, so we got a water sign in your hopes and fears as well, guys. Maybe you're fearing them being single. Maybe you didn't want them to be single. Um, definitely a Cancer Pisces Scorpio on your mind, guys. Yeah, there's definitely a connection with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. On your mind, there may be, you know, you may have many different options within love here. Definitely thinking about blocked communication with a fire sign as well. Or delaying communication with them. Whoo, guys. Okay. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Okay, we have the Empress reversed. You could be dealing with a Taurus or Aries. Somebody does not want an abundant new beginning here. Um, they're coming to reality. They're seeing things for what it for what it is. All right. So why is the Ace of Swords here for Virgo from now until January thirtieth? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Virgos from now until January? Okay. Definitely want a higher level of commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, be careful. Definitely wanting a higher level of commitment here. Wanting to come out of conflict. There could have been, you know, nasty arguing, um, inner conflict, one-upping somebody. You know, a fight that went on that you, you want to get out of that energy. You're releasing that energy and you want positive change. You want stability, money, positive change. Um, definitely secrets in your thoughts as well. Um... Or needing to express your emotions, like I said, with the with the strength card. There's something that somebody's not saying here. Let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. Specifically Pisces. Why is the strength card the outcome for Virgos from now until January 30th? Okay, so somebody is going to take that blindfold off and make a decision here. Definitely going to have some strength here. Could be a Leo. Either way, guys, there is a victory here. Somebody's releasing themselves from something or someone toxic. Could be a Capricorn or Cancer here. So somebody could be making a decision. They're going to have a victory making that decision, whether it's single or by themselves. Releasing themselves from toxic energy any toxic habits, addictions, temptations, whatever. Um, and if you're involved with another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it looks good. But still, there's that empty feeling here because somebody's not expressing what they need to say. That's what I keep seeing. 
Yeah. Somebody's definitely got something to say, Virgo. Alright, so... We had... I don't know why I was called to this. I don't know why, but they're amazing cards. We had Skeleton, and funny enough, it is Strength. These are short and sweet. They're very helpful. It says, should the Skeleton card bring itself to your attention, dare to show strength and vulnerability if that is what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not be carried through the darkest of nights. And then we had joy, rejoicing in the present. If I can find it, guys. Okay. So, it says... Actively seek pleasure and build more of the things that give you personal joy and laughter in your life. After all, we build in, appoint we build in appointments for the dentist. Why not for our own pleasure? It is time to find the joy in this moment and to find that joy more often. Should, should this card come up in your divination, it heralds arrival of more happiness and profound joy into your life. It is a good omen. And then we had hearth, which is happiness, happiness in our hearts and homes. My God, why is this book so crazy? All right. Here we go. So it says, should the hearth card appear in your divination, you are being asked to look at, to look to your idea of what home and family is for you. Take the time to build up your love fire and have it burning brightly. Make your relationships a priority. If there is conflict within your home and family, it is time to take concrete steps to address the issue for good. If you or a member of your family is away from home due to travel or work, know that protection is being given. And definitely, yeah, this is travel here. There's victory and success. Looks good, guys. So I'll definitely see you guys in February. Definitely like, share, subscribe if, if this resonated with you. Definitely feel free to watch your January, it goes to, um, it's from January 1st to the 15th, and then the 15th to the 31st, and then I will be back in February, guys. Have a good one, Virgo.